blessed self and all. Namaste, Om Tat Sat. This is Swami Nikhilananda and welcome to Spirituality and Vedanta Philosophy. Every week I'll be posting profound spiritual knowledge and insights that I have learned directly from my self-realized enlightened master, Swami Jyotirmanandji Maharaj of Miami, Florida. So please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon for updates to my regular videos. In today's video, we will be discussing a very profound subject. It's called the insight into the three gunas or modes of nature. The three gunas according to Vedanta and Sanatana Dharma philosophy are uh, Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. Sattva stands for purity, Rajas stands for action or passion or activity and Tamas stands for inertia, laziness and dullness. So how do you recognize the three modes of nature? So just like I said, when you are in Sattva, Sattva is purity serenity, happiness, joy, pleasure, and enjoying nature. When you are feeling happy inside, for example, that is when your sattva is high or your purity level is high. And that is your mode of nature that is operating at that particular time. The second one is rajas. So rajas stands for action. So when you are going to work um, or when you have passion and when you are doing activities, um, thinking vigorously with your mind for making money, plans, all those things come under rajas or action. So when you are in that mode of nature, when you are working, for example, think that rajas is operating through you. And the third one is tamas. Tamas stands for um, laziness, inertia, sloth, procrastination, etc. Uh, so that's typ typically the three gunas that operate in all of life forms, every life form, all the animals, human beings, we all go through these gunas, but the proportions vary. Okay, so all three gunas exist in all the creation. But when sattva is high, um, for example, let's use our own personal lives. When you wake up in the morning, you have rested and you feel very good. You had a good night's sleep. Um, you enjoy your bhajans or your spiritual practice. At that particular time, your sattva is quite high. And then you are getting ready for work. You're eating breakfast. You're driving your car. And then you're working. You're thinking of your meetings coming up. You're getting ready to prepare for them. At that point, your rajas is high. And then when you come home in the evening, you've eaten your dinner, you relax down, you watch some TV and at that point you are getting ready to sleep and you are charging your batteries. At that time your inertia starts to kick in and you want to relax. And so whilst all these three activities are absolutely required in every embodiment, even saints have sattva, rajas and tamas, but the proportion is very well balanced. They are most of the time in sattva and when they are doing massive volumes of work, they are doing it through their rajas or energy and then um, when they sleep and they charge their bodies, they are using tamas. So, but they are using these three qualities in a very profound, productive way. So think of a lamp for example. The lamp has the oil, it has a wick and then the light that comes out of it. So the oil itself is tamas and the wick that generates, um, that will have the potentiality to generate that light is rajas. And then when you actually light it and the light comes out, that is sattva. So the three things um, are all required to generate that light. But beyond this, we um, basically say there is another state called Turiya. Turiya means you have crossed these three gunas or modes of nature and now you are into that transcendental stage which we call uh, the meditative state or beyond the three gunas which we try to do in meditation or in uh, beyond deep sleep. Um, that's pretty much the three gunas and how they operate and uh, idea should be try to maintain your sattva as much as possible 
Because if you can maintain your sattva or purity, you are, our scriptures teach us that's what satsanga will do to you, good association will do to you, singing bhajans, chanting the Lord's name will do to you. When you do that, your sattva becomes high and that pulls you into a spiritual dimension and you make rapid spiritual progress. Another important thing to note, as it says in the Bhagavad Gita, is that when one of your gunas or um, the modes of nature is elevated, the other two are depressed. They are uh, automatically at a lower key. So for example, when sattva is high, your rajas and tamas are down. Or So when rajas is high, then sattva and tamas are down. And when your tamas is high, um, rajas and sattva are down. So obviously for a spiritual aspirant the goal is to increase your sattva or your spiritual dimension as much as you can so you make rapid spiritual progress and eventually go into that transcendental state called the Turiya Tita, Turiya. So I hope this video made sense to you. I hope you understand what the three modes of nature are now a little bit better. Um, Om Tat Sat, this is Swami Nikhilananda signing off. If you have any other questions, feel free to send me an email or share your comments with me so I can be more uh, precise in giving you the specific information you need for your evolution. Om Tat Sat, Divine Blessing.